sure we're live hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is july 13th 2020 and we're doing a live stream open discussion on investing and personal finance very nice very nice uh should be a fun stream lots going on in the world as there will be for a while Eskil, how are you doing good morning good morning well good morning my part good early evening your part in uh, belgium cheryl how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream hope you guys are having a fantastic uh, start to the week monday it's uh, getting finally warm here where i am um until we wait uh, for notification to go out i'm just going to do my little intro if you want to find out who i am what we're doing uh 6 p.m right here yeah almost dinner time uh what we're doing um and what i'm sharing the content that we're creating and discussions that we're having patreon is where you want to be at okay uh patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay if you want to follow this work uh figure out what we're sharing uh, what we're uploading what we're creating you can just follow you don't have to commit to supporting this work through funds and after a while you find out that you like what we're doing and if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to contribute okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay if you want to participate in these live stream open discussions live twitch is where you want to be at skill yeah just ate very good and in a few minutes going to light a green one haha <laughs> nice nice good way to end an evening or begin an evening <laughs> good 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 thing to do after a nice meal right if you want to support this project you can follow on twitch you're all trip. you can follow on trip uh you can follow on twitch you can subscribe on twitch you can uh support this work through twitch through bits and whatnot and just participate in the chat and be here and um we do have some nice discussions here a lot of great information being shared uh, by all really okay i do announce these live streams on twitter uh gabs minds vk lo and parlor and all of those should be chicho c-h-y-c-h-o Eileen King Divinity, how are you doing? Chicho, what's up, man? Doing good on a Monday morning. Donnie Te, how's life, man? How's life? I just posted a video on the history folder. I know you're into the history regarding uh, World War II. I I've watched about three quarters of it. I had to end watching it, finish watching, stop watching it to come and do this live stream. But it was pretty good. It's about a half hour little doc. Um, and it was nice nice little bit of history and stuff like this as far as uh, following our work uh, i do announce these live streams on those platforms that i mentioned so if you want to stay up to date uh, know what's going on um, we do share a fair bit of content or i do share a fair bit of content on those platforms i do announce the live streams okay can't stay long hope you have a good one will do danite Hope you have a great monday too elder god you got your sword shining <laughs> sicko bang is this a cult no cult is uh the definition of a cult is they keep things secret i looked at this a long time ago like 20 plus years ago right definition of a cult is they keep things secret we're the anti-cult we're the opposite of a cult we try to share as much information as possible share and share alike creative commons right so definitely not our current economic system is a cult our current political system is a cult almost all of the major political parties are cults and religious institutions are cults but what we do here is the anti-cult okay Randall how are you doing hope you're doing well the cult of knowledge <laughs> Highland King says Ankma if anyone loves history I recommend I highly recommend literally anything from Dan Carlin I don't know Dan Carlin share some of his work uh, on our uh, discord page uh, and come on okay thanks for the tip I'll check it out awesome awesome 
Donita. Yeah, I have to leave really soon as well. Okay, Randall, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. Uh, Monday morning, interesting time to do a live stream. And we've done some of these before as well. SQ, also, things here are just general fun. Just general fun, indeed. Sanako, looking good today. Awesome. Yeah, feeling good today. She'll be eating a lot of dolmas. <laughs> Nemo, how are you doing? Nemo smokes. This seems more like a family here, Chicho. It really does, indeed. Uh, cooperative, collective. Yeah. <laughs> We're equals. There's no hierarchy. Uh, aside from me live streaming, this is what I'm, I'm doing. But we take recommendations. A lot of the content we've created is because of suggestions. Because of, So, yeah. Finamabob, 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 Finamabob. <laughs> Chicho finally catching a stream after a while. Awesome, Finn. I'm gonna call you Finn. I can't get the accent going in the right way. Spider Man, how are you doing? Hope life is well. Daniel, hey everybody. Lonely Piggy, hey Chicho, hope you're doing well. When is the next current events live stream? Is there, uh, if there is one plan, I really want to dive into the whole where feral scandal uh, that was brought to light um, I looked into this I'm following this uh, it, it's iffy brother like seriously there's discrepancies in it there's uh, you know some of the kids that have been said that they you know they've been kidnapped they're not around there or missing they're around coming out and saying hey we're not missing anymore stuff like this um, th there's a, this whole thing about the prices were really high because the website uh when they're listing the stuff when they're out of stock of something they really price something really high um so they reserve the sauce spa so they don't have to refill information and if you ever sold stuff online you know that that sometimes becomes the case for example on ebay i have everything all the ebay mermaid stuff that were being listed but i stopped listing stuff uh because of the pandemic now i have to go back and refill everything i can't really uh renew things again so th th there's definitely uh, no question that as stanley kubrick would say that there's a whole cult of uh, pedophiles that control a huge section of our political economic system is may uh, wayfair part of it uh, i don't know I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole because I don't um, as far more than I have right now because as far as I know that exists I don't need convincing to realize that apps Epstein Maxwell were just the front all right the money behind is a huge event right so it could be misinformation it could be disinformation uh, but I think we have to keep our eyes on the prize keep Maxwell alive right ask questions about Epstein um, a lot of other things as well single bang I thought that this is an enlightenment channel is an enlightenment channel I don't know Finn my father listened to something like 60 hours of Roman history from Dan Carlin's podcast I highly recommend recommend too awesome awesome Finn sounds like a good recommendation share the stuff on our discord okay only thing getting that chicho spreads is fun love and peace yeah and as much information as i can nemo maybe listening to a good portion of this with screen off because i'm at work but glad to make it here for the stream awesome and i will be uploading this to soundcloud as well i should finish up wasn't epstein involved with the royals and such indeed indeed right i will be uploading this discussion to soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you wanna as uh, nemo said just have the screen off and just listen, listen to the audio this is something that a lot of people have asked me to do and we just started doing this uh, this year 2018 a couple of months ago started loading up the audio to soundcloud okay as podcast and i hope you enjoy if you are listening to this as a podcast okay and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitchute and you can support this project by liking sharing commenting and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership because we got approved for youtube membership 
beginning of this year and implemented that or end of last year implemented that beginning of this year okay and that is a great way to support this project as well okay aside from that welcome to another live stream gang investing personal finance i'm going to take these guys down catch up with the chat jack chicho hi uh, do you dig uh, mythology for sure i did qualifications in classics and theology nice mythology is interesting a lot of mythology is based on fact based on beliefs based on self-preservation right based on bringing a tribe together to keep them as one right either against external forces or elements or internal conflict or whatnot right um, so to a certain degree a lot of mythology was created to centralize power a lot of mythology there's so many different a lot of mythology came out of entheogens right so a lot of different branches to that lonely piggy agreed agreed i thought at first that with the world we live in something like that was entirely possible sure yeah that's the mayfair thing rickety rocket how are you doing like your name i have read that pedophiles uh pedophilia is used as a means of control by the elite over each other for sure i mean there's videotapes just imagine if you're one of those people in power that did some horrendous acts and people have video of that or audio of that or pictures of that you would do anything that they wanted you to do including committing genocide and starting wars and enslaving your own people if you want to read uh, a story or watch a tv show that deals with this is that's based on a comic book series is grant morrison's uh, happy there's two seasons of a series tv series that came out it was called happy it was fantastically done and the the foundation of it is exactly this is exactly this okay where an entertainer like seville right from uk videotape a lot of powerful people doing horrendous acts and blackmail them finn in the next few weeks i'm going to be moving to canadian rockies and getting a job awesome welcome to our part of the world i'll be living independently for the first time in my life got any financial tips for saving up i'm not an excessive spender or anything but i'm sure there's some stuff uh, that i just don't know yet uh finn first first bit of a financial advice if you're living on a budget buy good food cook at home stay healthy that means exercise so good food cooking at home exercising to stay healthy right that's three of the top things you have to put into play okay the next thing you have to put into play start buying things on sale right so get to know your location proximity and go to different grocery stores different grocery stores have things priced at different levels right some grocery stores have certain things that are really cheap compared to the other grocery stores but they make make that back up with having the other stuff a little bit more expensive because they know that when people go out shopping they're limited on their time so when they go to buy this if they need to grab one or two other things they're not going to go to another place because that costs time that costs gas money that it's just too much effort so they buy the other stuff right so get yourself used to going to certain places that have things on sale like just imagine if you could buy all your groceries at 10 20 15 percent off sale randy warton thank you very much for rating and hello everyone who is rating here hello 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 um so just imagine if you could make your paycheck go 20 percent more that's a lot of money that's a lot of money if you just do the numbers let's assume you're making two thousand dollars a month if you spent let's say five hundred dollars on groceries that means you're saving yourself an extra hundred dollars a month right that's five percent raise you just gave yourself based on a twenty thousand dollar income per per month right a hundred dollars out of two thousand 
is 5%. So you just got a 5% raise. That's pretty damn good, right? So really, really um, pay attention to that, right? Be frugal. Eskil, I thought it was one of the best series I have seen in a long time. Is that happy? Yeah, I was so effing sad when they canceled having dude Eskil, me too. Happy was absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing. That's great series. Mythology is really good, uh, really cool, but so much of it is it was lost when mu uh, much of uh, Europe's different cultures and beliefs were uh, stamped out in favor of Christianity. Uh, Absurdicon, for sure, but mythology doesn't just go, it's not just Europe, right? I know most of us are European centric. We're Western centric, um, Canada, United States, Europe and stuff. But there's a lot of mythology from other parts of the world that are still there. And there's a real connection between that mythology and the mythology in the other parts of the world. I thought it was one of the best series. Yeah, hello all. Randy Warton, thank you very much. I'm a little behind chat, gang. Padre, 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 padre. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho, your poster video inspired me to order a movie poster on mythology. Check out Joseph Campbell. Oh, I know Joseph Campbell. He has some great interviews available on YouTube. I know Joseph. I think I know Joseph Campbell. I have to look at his face to know which one he is. Let me just highlight it. Joseph Campbell, Joseph. I just got to remind myself who Joseph Campbell is, gang. Joseph Campbell, is this the right person I'm thinking about? Yeah, I believe so. I've watched some of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school guy. Old school uh, guy. I haven't watched this stuff for a very long time, man. Very long time. That's good. Good to hear that he's uh, got the stuff on YouTube. I just did a raid to bring folks here. Thank you, Randy. Very much appreciated. And I'm just catching up with the raid. Hello and good morning, Lark. How are you doing, Arch Waylead? Hello, hello. Mr. Magu, oh one, hello, Sharon. I think he's seventy years. Just call me Randy. Randy, it is. Thank you, Randy. Well done. It worked. Nice. The Raiders are here. Shuck, Yossi, Yossi. Hey, Yossi. The Raiders are here. Nice. I am from Tennessee, but living in Saudi Arabia. Randy, oof. What a place to be. What a place to be. How is it there, by the way? I hope you're keeping uh, going by all the rules and regulations and bylaws and everything there. We are Randy's army. <laughs> nice. Hey. Wailed. US Mixin 777. Thanks for, thanks for the advice, Finn says. My pleasure. My pleasure. Reno, I don't uh, know Happy was canceled. I didn't know Happy was canceled. That's very, unfor very unfortunate. And Angered, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. My job has a 6% 401k match they just implemented. Should I put a not opt in? Um, I don't know. That's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good matching 401. The question is where are they putting that money, right? Are they taking control of it and investing it? You have to invest it in the funds that they tell you to invest it, or are you open? To show that you've taken that money and invested it in your retirement plan and they'll just match it so what are the restrictions on the six percent if they're gonna only invest it into their stock for example so you buy six percent you buy you know whatever it is uh, in their stock and they match it but maybe their stock is not as stable as sweet as some of the other things right Tesla 360 to 1700 dollars in a matter of four months uh six percent seems like chump change if you know where you're putting your money and by the way i would not be buying tesla at 1700 dollars right now right now this week i would start if if i was into putting money in the stock market which i'm not i don't like that system i've played it around with it for a lot i might go back into it at some point but I'm not doing this do not take this financial advice but this week starting today I would be start building up a position of puts into Tesla and I would slowly be building up my put position for the next month right buying right now I would even buy one month out but in general 
one month three months and six months out okay that's what i would be doing with tesla it is extremely overbought randy sent us here you were awesome you said you were awesome thank you randy for love hey folks this guy seems great glad we found him thank you randy appreciate it guess you'll have to do a reading of the books now yeah <laughs> nemo most definitely and i have the books i bought the books crazy cheap on ebay i at a haul right and i bought them specifically because of the tv series as soon as i watched the first episode i was like oh snap i went on ebay and start tracking it hello raiders as kill says you are all, you, you are all very welcome feel free to join the discussion indeed eagles eagles and cycling hello hello hi what is the best advice you can give me with developing more motivation i've been trying to start my own business for months now and really really procrastinate too often okay look a lot of people ask me about motivation right uh, advice not procrastinating right procrastination is something that i used to do as a, as a teenager because i was in a centralized indoctrination center that i i, I knew it was half of the stuff at least half of what they were teaching me was garbage and they wanted me to do garbage work so what would procrastinate and do stuff like this right but as I, as, I, as I started getting older and older right I realized that my time on this planet is limited right so I started and by the way this is really linked up to as you grow up you're a kid right you try everything right oh let's taste this let's touch this let's go over here let's look at that let's look at you run around like if you watch little two-year-olds that are just learning how to walk they're insane they run everywhere they i think two-year-olds first learn how to run before they learn how to walk right so they go around everywhere they put everything in their mouth they touch everything fire poop whatever it is they touch it to feel it right and as you grow older a teenager or whatever it is you're doing things right you're touching everything you're sampling everything but as you grow older you start to be sort of more selective as, as into what it is that you want to incorporate into your life that includes the work you do right so a couple of things right one of the things is make sure what you're doing your heart is in it if you really want to do it as a business if you're doing something at work that you need to do to bring home a paycheck then do what you need to do to maintain your life sustain your life but slowly start planning or rapidly start planning an out position right if you really don't like something that you're doing in life start acquiring the, acquiring the tools that you need to get out of that situation that tight spot you don't want to linger there too long if you linger there too long then life gets sucked out of you right now once you've decided that you're about to do something that you really love right then try to incorporate multiple tasks in the same project multiple things you want to do in the same project right so i don't know if it's a business you want to do i don't know if it's a movie you want to watch i don't know whatever it is that you want to do right but we put out a video where we said one of the best ways to get things done is to create a to-do list right on one side put your want to do things on the other side put your need to do things right now slowly if you if you're procrastinating right you need motivation what's going to happen is you're not used to getting things done right so slowly you're gonna to have to create this list and i still do create a list every now and then when i need to right but initially i was creating a lot, a lot of lists when i was trying to get get myself out of procrastination mode and into motivating myself into getting things done right and what i found to be the most useful thing that i did was to take care of all the things i needed to do first right i need to i need to clean up I need to do the dishes i need to cook some food i need to i need to i need to wash the clean the clean the bathroom right i need to run this task i need to run this task so get all the all the 
little things especially that you need to get done done right because those are holding you back it's a weight on you right so once you get all that little things that you need to get done done then look at the big things that you need to get done right and start thinking about how you can incorporate some of the things you want to get done into the things you need to get done right now this is very very personal it's dependent on you and what you want to do right so that's one way you can get out of procrastinating motivate yourself because once you put things on paper visually and by the way a wall is your friend if you have things you want to organize and need to get done want to get done put one wall in your living space aside to put pieces of papers up stickies up and it's not maybe it's the fridge I don't know I never did it on the fridge or maybe I did it on a fridge a little bit but I usually had it in my living space where my computer was where I, I could see it constantly right now all of that said right and there's a to-do list uh, how to how to make a to-do list uh, video that we have up and I go a little bit more detail on this the other thing that really motivates me is anger right get if depends on what you want to do right but get pissed right for me one of the driving mechanisms for me is I really detest some of the things in our society right in our culture some of the ways that people behave because I know they're behaving that way because they've been indoctrinated by a centralized education system right they are programmed they are brainwashed and it really pisses me off that they're programming their brainwashing interferes in my way of being right they interrupt my ride right and sometimes or in the past i used to confront people the system directly head on bam 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 right that works to a certain degree but it drains you it it gets exhausting right so what i started doing is for me my work is this right creating content sharing information making sure that people have the tools at their disposal to be able to live as free human beings main tool being mathematics right so if you want motivation if you want to stop procrastinating make sure you're doing something meaningful in your life that gives your life your work meaning that meaning that desire to that that work that really defines you right is is part of your soul that's enough to motivate you it should be enough to motivate you okay I sort of went off on that I'm, I know there's a lot of chat going on but this is something that's been asked of me a lot and I figured I just laid down Speedy Gonzalez style right now I like your beard thank you very much a goatee a goatee wait until you see my full beard how much cheaper is it to live in Canada than the US in Canada it's more expensive I live in Chicago for context not the most affordable spot in Canada it's more expensive food is more expensive transportation is more expensive um, gas is more expensive and all that jazz it's more expensive if you're a healthy human being if you're if you're oh sorry if uh, yeah if you're sick if you're dealing with certain illnesses Canada is much cheaper than the United States because we get universal health care right we can walk into a hospital with something and they will take care of you if you're a Canadian citizen and land an immigrant right so depending on where you are in your life cycle but day-to-day -day living Canada is pretty expensive and we pay higher taxes and the wages are lower and our dollar is not as powerful right so I wouldn't say Canada is cheaper for everyone hero with a thousand faces Jack hello sir how are you buddy Chicho what would you recommend when it comes to clothes shoes etc buy cheap and often or buy expensive and not very often uh, expensive doesn't uh, ding bother expensive doesn't mean that you're not gonna buy often right sometimes things are overpriced because of logos right for me I've bought things that are extremely cheap and they last me a long 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 time I buy 
certain things that are expensive that I assume they're going to be good quality and they break right away example you see it on your screen right now see this lapel mic right you see two two things right now you see this mic here that we're live streaming on the sound that you're hearing right now is through this this cost me a hundred dollars it's pretty good it's really good it's reliable it works right and it's the lower end and a lot of podcasters a lot of people streaming are using this right this was on the cheap end so I bought this you see this lapel mic I bought these for $15 a pop right I bought one on eBay and I had it shipped to me and I tried it out and it was fantastic fantastic the sound quality is like people when I'm creating the ASMR videos and I've been using this same style of lapel mic for um, I don't know six years now since I started making ASMR videos this is what I've been using right six years seven years eight years I don't know what it is now right it cost me $15 I bought one and it was like phenomenal really really good okay so I tried it out for a few months and I went no 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 this is amazing right people people were commenting oh what are you using what are you using we're using this $500 system $300 system this this I said no man I'm using this this do wiki right I went back to the same buyer on eBay and I bought four of them and I had them shipped to me and I've been using you know it's been eight years I've gone through two three lapel mics I got one more in spare right now and hopefully this this will last me this one I've been using for the last five uh, three years or so right two three years so I don't know uh, expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna last a long time you have to get to know the product right and anger thank you very much for the twitch prime sub and 13 months <laughs> we got over a year subscribers now which is fantastic fantastic you'll see hello 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 Ziegel glad I found your broad, uh, broadcast because of Randy I am subscribing now thank you very much for the for subbing uh, one Ziegel Ziegler one Ziegler thank you very much Saudi is safe friendly and fun awesome Randy I'm glad you're enjoying it Liz hey hope everyone's good Cheryl Randy ba, 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 ba. okay gang I'm way behind on chat so I'm gonna start scrolling down and if there's anything directed towards me please put Chicho on there so I can catch it and we can talk about it otherwise people are having discussions discussions between each other which is fantastic <laughs> list yeah Tesla PE and PV ratio are crazy uh, Tesla doesn't have a PE ratio price to earning because uh, or what do you call it uh, yeah I think it's a PE ratio. I, man I, I forget my acronyms and stuff but it, it's still operating at a loss isn't it or was it the last quarter they just uh, did a profit announcement either way seventeen hundred dollars for Tesla I have my own theories regarding that right the Bolivian government the a lithium mine there just closed down Bolivian dictatorial neoconservative government that was installed by a coup by Western powers uh, on the beh on behest of the Western corporations just invited Tesla in to start mining the lithium mine there right that's what I heard in the last couple of days anyway so that might be one of the reasons that Tesla stocks going through the roof these Western financiers think it's a given that Tesla is gonna start getting access to really cheap materials to build their batteries I wouldn't put uh, all my eggs in that basket okay Jacoby what's going on and uh, on peeps uh, awesome to be around the stream at a um, time that isn't early hours of the morning for me how's it going to each doing good Jacoby and I will be doing uh, some more morning live streams as well okay Saudi is strong and coercive country if it is still conservative uh, Saudi Arabia by the way Randy Saudi Arabia is in trouble uh, from what I see so be careful okay make sure you have your exit strategy set uh, Randy okay just putting it out there for you uh, make sure you have your exit strategy set open ticket passport ready just in case 
just in case I don't know what position you're in so it really depends on the position and um, how much power you have uh, based on your connections right what's a good investment right now uh, depends von Ziegler uh, depends where uh, like what's a good investment uh, if you're thinking real estate uh, rural areas real estate I think the prices of rural rural outside of the centralized cities I think those prices are about to go up I th if you're holding condominiums apartments I think those prices are about to come down right so that's one place the markets are playing but there's so many different markets right there's so many different markets stock market most of the stuff is in a bubble right there are some good investments for sure but most of the stuff is a, is in a bubble uh, and it really depends on your uh, ethical uh, standing right are you okay investing anything as long as you get returns or you don't want to invest let's say in the war machine right you just don't want to sleep sound you can't sleep soundly at night if you're making profit off of weapons right we have a discord as well spider-man says portrays we'd all be surprised just regarding Saudi Arabia you are the real mr. Miyagi I can't catch uh, flies with a chopstick <laughs> I haven't yet <laughs> where's that karate kid that comes along and shows me off right okay I was scrolling down gang uh, just to checking to see if there's anything uh, uh, directed towards me super motivated after my most recent breakup and angered been feeling super motivated after my most recent breakup it was a short relationship three to four months but it made a hell of a hell of an uh, impression I want to get back to streaming and painting again but it's hard to work up the gusto and anger do it and what an anger is bringing up as well gang if you're feeling that you're in a situation where it's draining the life out of you that it's not just work related prepare get an exit strategy going right if it's your relationship with people that you know may be intimate may be friends may be family deal with those because those are taxing those are just drain you right suck your life away okay and if you're in a relationship that is hot and heavy and fast and very intense and you're not looking for it to be a long-term relationship just an intense relationship make sure you're staying in that relationship just as long as you're still learning and growing together when it becomes stagnant you know you might have a talk you might want to have a talk with your partner right so any relationship you get into may be intimate may be family may be friends right may be work make sure you're both contributing to that relationship you're helping each other grow right helping each other to get what you want to what you want out of life okay uh, von Ziegel I want a Ferrari but I don't uh, need one but want one you want one okay here's one thing you can do right I'm guessing you want to drive a Ferrari specifically right so why not build up some funds and go rent a Ferrari right just go rent a Ferrari for a weekend and it'll cost you at least a couple of grand right I don't know how much it'll cost maybe the Ferrari dealerships as soon as that and try to do this when the stock market is collapsing because the big money is not going to have the funds to play a lot right so make sure you're doing this during a time of a trough right where there are people that are trying to rent out Ferraris right rent out a Ferrari for a weekend go ballistic go crazy right or work your way up to a Ferrari start renting out sports cars on weekends it'll cost you a little bit of money right start off low small right and see how you like it maybe maybe after a while your desire your need to get a Ferrari 
will not be as great as it is now right and other things might come into play right if you do this for a while and you still have that desire to get a Ferrari or even more then start thinking about doing some serious uh, plays right what would you say to someone who doesn't know what they what they want you to sample questions I had questions I had is asking what would you say to someone who doesn't know what they want Chicho brother or sister I got my degree in geophysics with a minor in mathematics I've had multiple incorporated companies okay I've done publishing I've I've had a 900 in the early 1990s I met or mid 1990s I managed a 900 number dating service two of them right I've been an ice ice cream truck driver when I came out of high school I've done a lot of different types of work right so and no one knows what they want to do for the rest of their lives until they've sampled certain things right or very few people do anyway right now for the last few years I came into doing this right and that was because I tried out a whole bunch of stuff and I just found my way here and by trying out all these different things I acquired tools I acquired powers right I acquired knowledge that has helped me to be who I am right now to be in a headspace where I'm very comfortable in my state of being and I love 95 percent of what I need to do in my life and I do 80 percent of what I want to do in my life right the needs su supersede the wants by the way okay in your to-do list take care of your needs first that is more important than your wants once you take care of your needs then start incorporating your wants as part of your needs then what you're going to find out is your needs become your wants right i needed to do a personal finance live stream this morning at 9 a.m it is also my want to do a personal finance live stream i just set the time for this morning that it needed to be done right my need became my want okay so it's it's sort of a chess game right it takes a while it's not a week project it's not a month project it's not even a year project it's a multi-year sort of reprogramming readjusting your lifestyle the reason why it's going to take multiple years is because for 12 years for most of us in the western world we were in a centralized system that totally brainwashed us programmed us not to be in this mindset not to build a life where your wants are your needs right they indoctrinated you they programmed you for 12 years of your life to follow the carrot ding 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 move along move along here's the carrot here's your prize here's your a here's your b here's your job here's your admittance to this institution right here's your diploma here are your connections right it takes a while to get out of that it takes a while to get out of that what's that board called I'm not sure what that's referring to how did I get here Aziz 2022 how are you doing eagles and cycles wow what a great response love your energy shout out. thank you very much uh, do you have night scope night scope I don't think so I can't figure out what motivates me now corona has kind of reset my life von Ziegel fantastic those people that want things to go back the way they were are crazy because the way they, the way that it was before covid was a disaster okay is a freight train going off a cliff for the whole the whole world 
right? It's, it's, it's at times of crises that we grow the most culturally, socially, individually, as a family, as a community, right? As the saying goes, it's not the things you did right that influence you really. It's the things you did wrong, right? It's the mistakes in your life that define you, right? It's the, it's in in terms of entheogens if you want to think about it it's it's not the good trips that are really important even though they are amazing it's the bad trips that really show you what entheogens are and reveal the world to you right and the more bad trips you have the more uh, bad experiences you have if you take that information and use it appropriately in, in your life you'll find out that the bad trips the bad experiences the frequency comes down a lot because you're wiser now you make better choices in your life right and that is a progression of time and reprogramming yourself right touching jason how are you doing morning chicho i got your uh i've got your stream uh, on one screen and my work meeting uh, on another <laughs> <laughs> waiting for it to end soon hopefully oh your work meeting awesome awesome <laughs> say hi to your work people don't do it <laughs> i used to be motivated by aviation but now it seems like that industry is thrashed aviation pretty much pretty much i bought a rolex watch years ago it's still working and has gone up in value yeah and that's a collectible by the way so what you invested in is a great place to be for investment which is collectibles right collectibles artifacts art uh, is an amazing place to park your money right as you know some of you may not know this but i invest in comic books i take my extra funds and i buy comic books and i've been making comic book haul videos for at least five years six seven years seven years i guess i've been making comic book videos and we did comic book haul videos and if you go through those comic hauls right some of those comics that we bought have gone up in value huge enormously right some of them has stayed flat maybe a handful have gone down but a lot of those comic books have gone up in value shot up in value huge right so collectibles are a great place to be is it always like this no cash is king make sure you have some funds put aside when any market whatever market you may be in takes a major dip that you can buy into it to ride it up again and if you feel like it's gone into bubble status right and you know something is in bubble a bubble state of being is when the semi log scale is exponential if you're following if you've invested in anything where the price of that investment is going exponential on a semi log graph pull out pull out pull out okay and by the way this is not financial advice but from my experience if on a semi log scale the price of that product goes like this sell it knock it gone gone you might not want to sell your whole position but sell at least half your position get your capital out sit on cash wait for a dip right if you looked at tesla it went from 160 200 to 960 poof, drop down to 360 right 17 1700 right on a regular graph it's exponential right does it have room to grow another break 2000 possibly but i would be building my put position right now okay randy you need to make some asmr videos <laughs> nice that 15 dollars mic sounds great yeah this one you haven't heard yet this one is better sounding than this one which is a hundred dollars right i just couldn't get this one working with the live streams <laughs> right i had to, and this is good i like this one uh, really i do like this one but this one is pretty good when you look at my uh full-on asmr videos like um check out the 
I don't know there's a whole bunch of videos before I started live streaming all the ASMR videos all the videos were with this mic right so I started live streaming on twitch two years ago two and a half years ago everything pre that for five years was with this and the sound quality is fantastic can you please explain to Randy's Raiders that we have no idea what ASMR is ASMR is autonomous uh, uh, no, a symmetry autonomous uh, oh my god I forgot what it's called I'm really bad with names by the way and uh, not autonomous uh, yeah. meridian response uh, auto, uh, oh my god I forgot what it stands for basically look it's it's simple as this the reason I got into I'll give I'll tell you why I got into it and how I got into it that way you have a feel for what it is right one of the the reason I started making videos the reason that I'm online right now doing this and I started making videos on YouTube over 12 years ago like 13 years ago I was blogging politics and economics before that as well and other things writing review for system of downs um, music and stuff like this right uh, yeah I'm still trying to think what ASMR stands for so I started blogging in 2005 and then I started making math videos I started taking video editing it uploading it because I wanted to learn how to edit video shoot video and edit video so before I made my first math video for about a year I was shooting video editing it loading it up online because I wanted to get into that right so I was acquiring tools that I needed to be able to do what I wanted right do you follow the pattern here now for me I've been teaching mathematics for 20 years so before that for about seven eight years I was teaching mathematics right and I saw the math education system completely just crumble in Canada and the United States math education is down the toilet right same with Canada now it's just garbage pure garbage right so I sort of went okay I'm gonna start making math videos and the reason I started making math videos because I had a family member I have a family member that was living in the United States and I lived in Canada and they were in high school and I was trying to help them out learn help them learn math right so I started making math videos for about from 2007 all the way up to 2010 right 2011 and then I had some people say look we love your math videos amazing math videos Chicho thank you very much for doing this but we get math anxiety right can you please make ASMR math videos and they said this because I had made a beard my first ASMR video was a beard video right two beard videos where I was combing my beard not my goatee this is a goatee a beard full-blown beard I grow a beard like this right so I made a couple of videos where I was combing my beard just for fun because I wanted to I wanted to share the love of facial hair right and it is amazing right when you have a beer when you comb it it's just instant relaxation right so people who were following my math videos saw my ASMR beard video and they went Chicho can you make ASMR math videos because we get math anxiety when we're trying to learn math so ASMR to me is this it kicks you into a state of calm relaxed right when you're not anxious it gets rid of anxiety right which is the state that we should always almost always be in right so it removes the state of anxiety so I started making ASMR math videos because the core foundation of what I want to do is I want to make the world literate or as many people as literate in the language of mathematics as possible because if people learn mathematics the world would be a much better place to live in right so I started making ASMR math videos and just calming people down and people learn their information faster and by the way this isn't something that was new to me when I work with students privately or in groups it's exactly what I do I crack some jokes I get them relaxed I kick down my tone in general right try to open the doorway because once people are relaxed anxiety is gone they're more receptive to learning right this is something that's probably has been known by advertisers and propagandists for decades right put people in a state of hypnosis and program them whatever you want to program them in right 
autonomous sensory meridian response autonomous sensory meridian response that's what ASMR stands for good morning Chicho central Maori good morning Chicho good to catch a live finally gets hard with the different time zones I'm down in New Zealand hello New Zealand how are you doing down under it's your winter Jacoby I wish I could sub been here for a couple of years now ha -ha, Chicho been coming through with knowledge for you uh, Jacoby no worries when you do have the means you can support this work either by subbing patreon or whatnot and since we're talking about personal finance and stuff like this right one of the business models I have right that I follow there's a few different things that I've implemented into my life right and make sure you have great teachers in your life right I have I have great teachers in my life if you go to my about page um, if you go to my website chicho.com and go to my about page I have a little category there of teachers that I've that I've listened to right this, I don't know which level it's in right so I listen to these teachers one of the models that I'm implementing in my business plan that I decided to do once I started blogging was this I watched a documentary back in the 80s where this priest right and he seemed like a legit person and he was Catholic priest priest I believe right so take this as what it is in a good light right I saw this documentary on this Catholic priest that had started a school in India okay he was he had a parish in India or he went to India to start a parish or whatnot and I've never been able to find this documentary again right it was like a 15 minute documentary or something or half an hour documentary or maybe an hour documentary right so it was about him going to India and he saw so much poverty there so much homelessness there right and he wanted to do something about it so he had minimal income coming in but in India you can live on a minimum income I had a little bit of space so what he decided to do was take in homeless uh, boys kids right please take this in the positive light that it's in okay we all know about the Catholic Church and the and the and the some of the activities in that place but there are also amazing people working in different institutions trying to bring about positive changes right so he decided to take in three homeless kids and educate them and make sure that their lives would have meaning for themselves right that they would not become part of crime and they their lives would just be misery right so he took these three boys and educated them fed them saw them through all the way to high school where they graduated and they were able to go get jobs slowly what happened is over the years some of those kids that he helped to set their lives right to be free human beings came back and started giving him more funds for him to grow his perish and grow his uh, his project and this documentary was made at a time where they had now uh, sort of cordoned off building right with a courtyard where I, I believe at the time they had like 200 um, homeless boys that they had taken in and some of the people that had worked that had come out of that system uh, were there either contributing funds or working there and what they had created was basically something which was a huge positive in the world where they were graduating you know 10 15 20 kids every year that would have been otherwise been homeless and sending them out into the world to do good right and some of those funds were coming in that's one of the business models i have for for my project i'll work my ass off right jacoby to do what it is i'm doing if you find this useful when you do have the means come support it but I don't put anything behind paywalls right everything's Creative Commons share and share alike because I'm not here to support Wall Street I'm not here to support the war machine I'm not here to buy politicians I'm here for the respect of the community to say that hey I'm doing what I can to improve our lives do with it what you will okay
I'm going to scroll down, gang. Anything that I see Chicho, I'm going to read up. Finally made a live stream. Meta Dragon 0216. Great to see you all, Chicho. Your insights have helped me open my mind one wider, and that's truly invaluable. I'm about to move out of my parents' house nice for the first time. Do you have any recommendations for maintaining mental, physical, and financial well being? Meta Dragons, watch this video from the beginning. Okay. I did a little bit of a rant for about 10 minutes uh, earlier in the stream because someone asked this exact same question. I hope that's okay. Okay. I, I gave some advice there. Uh, learn how to cook make food at home stay healthy buy things on sale okay and doesn't mean buy crap on sale buy good food on sale okay yeah tesla broke even one quarter oh so uh, nemo says yeah tesla broke even one quarter and that was it as far as i know i know a lot of people who push tesla as a success story but tesla is just a drain for our tax dollars so i find it amusing amusing indeed right and in what you're seeing right now has a lot to do with a short squeeze as well right there is a lot of people that shorted tesla all the way up to 1700 and they're getting burned 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 right they they probably did uh uncovered shorts right ouch ouch right i personally don't do i never did uncover shorts i if i'm gonna bet something's gonna go down i'm buying puts that's the money i have i'm willing to lose and i put it aside the returns on puts can be huge yeah not all saudi arabia is safe and saudi arabia is losing the war against yemen it's bleeding finances aziz who is this man chicho central mary chicho i've just started getting into investing you're a big part of that i've spent months listening to your videos which is why it's great to finally catch a live stream awesome also a huge comic fan nice i'm a lot younger than you but i love for but the love for comics has always been there appreciate you and your bits my pleasure glad you're finding it useful and welcome another comic book fan it is better than the nonsense uh, that you say. Uh, Ad, Abda, Abda, I disagree. Saudi Arabia is committing genocide in Yemen. They started a war of aggression. They have been supporting terrorism up the yin yang. Okay, I'm not sure how many Saudis we have here right now is, but Saudi Arabia, the monarchy there, has committed her horrendous atrocities. Okay, the funding that they gave to ISIS and and some of the fanatical institutions was crazy what they are doing in Yemen is cause enough to boycott Saudi Arabia as far as I'm concerned right so if you're working in the central city as a what do you call them uh, expat from another country from a Western country and you have a great life right and you have great job good food good entertainment and all that jazz fantastic but uh, but the direction that the new king the uh, king solomon uh, mbs is taking saudi arabia is horrendous every saudi citizen should be concerned about what mbs has been doing really if you're not concerned about what mbs has been doing then you haven't really been paying attention to how much money saudi arabia is bleeding and all the disastrous wars and actions that they've they've taken how bad has nbs's decisions been yemen infiltrated saudi arabia yemenis right saudi arabia started a war with some of the most high-tech weapons in the world and they're losing a war against people on donkeys with sandals with machine guns right how that's that's some horrendous horrendous governing yay for comics saturday gets weapons sold to it by the west despite their vicious attacks on yemen libya is invaded dismantled and thrown into uh this uh, 
disrepair for literally nothing absurd i agree with matthew right absurd i'm scrolling down gang oh my god there's so much chat the image of chicho as an ice cream truck driver is awesome <laughs> i didn't invest in that business for sure i we've we've even done a farmer's market with family not ice cream but uh, or good some of the food that you're seeing us do cooking right legendary rob boss how are you doing chicho recently real estate investment has been skyrocketing problem is because they are turning them into rentals is significantly reducing the buyer's market and contributing to driving up the prices agreed agreed as tempting as it is to make easy money how can we prevent the housing market from becoming a subscription service it in large parts of the world in the western world it already has right and it's continuing the same trends they just gave wall street trillions of dollars to continue the same project this started off with obama really in large part after the 2008 collapse they gave wall street trillions of dollars to buy up a ton of real estate and turn it into rentals and jack up the prices right it's like the diamond industry where 95 percent of the diamond diamonds in the world are controlled by the beers of one company right like a ten thousand dollar diamond is not worth ten thousand dollars the only reason they say it's worth ten thousand dollars is because they control the supply right at ten thousand as a geophysicist and and i did i i looked into back in the early 1990s i looked into the data from the early data collected from some of the kimberlite pipes in northwest territories in canada where the diamond industry was just picking up right the world is a flood with diamonds there are so many diamonds out there right i looked at all this data i processed this data to where all these mines would be right for kimberlite pipes the only reason the real estate market is so high right now is because it's centrally controlled wall street has been getting tons of money to buy up real estate up the yin yang and turn people into serfs right how do we stop this defund wall street right too big to fail should never exist okay always know what you need in order to do it's an investment you chose what's an investment always do what you need to in order to do what you want to yes that is the best investment investment you could make catholic traditionalist how are you doing good afternoon folks not sure how long i am going to be able to be on the stream monday is when i do most of my management team meetings and i could get pulled away anytime okay catholic traditionalist uh take care of the management stuff Graham. please don't forget to rate i'm here starting in 50 minutes okay awesome so in about 50 minutes we're going to be rating Graham's um channel one of the mods please remind me please remind me you know what i'm gonna type this in right now okay before i type this in right now okay hold on gang let me give you my personal finance playlist on youtube and a lot of these videos are also on bitshoot okay i'm just going to give you this on youtube but if you want to watch them on bitshoot please make your way to bitshoot and watch them there i just recently loaded up the first set on bitshoot as well but these things are organized in a playlist on youtube and oops okay i'm gonna kick this in and now i'm gonna grab grams uh, name where to go oh we lost grams name i'm just gonna grab his name and put it out there I'm going to type in the command so I don't forget. Oops. I'm just going to type that in so I don't forget. But mods, if you remember, please let me know. I had spawned 1 to 30 and a bunch of, Cheryl says, a bunch of early Sandman that I sold in oh, 1997 before I moved west. One of my big regrets. Yeah. I sold Amazing uh, Spider-Man number 7 in 
2000 when I got onto eBay 2002 for $45 <laughs> oh no and it was in great shape it was really good shape regret regret central central Moira that's why that's exactly why I got into ASMR Anna how are you doing I'm lurking today lurk away brother I'm scrolling gang I'm gonna go all the way down see if there's anything being directed at me oh comic book I want to read this Nemo I didn't read a good number of the best comics until I was much older because my parents would check them before I could buy them I remember buying buying killing joke and then having my dad walk right back into the shop and changing it out for another Batman like oh no but it might have been a good thing if you were really young like I don't recommend the eight-year-old nine-year-old reading the killing joke that would not be a good idea uh, bang bang 2991 I'm in Canada West Coast I'm ashamed of my country selling weapons to Saudi Arabia me too and I'm in Canada right too late everything is becoming a rental service now cars houses literally everything almost everything Iran started a war in Yemen not Saudi Aziz no way definitely not okay Richard thank you very much for the twitch prime sub you've subscribed for two months Woohoo! hope you're well Chicho. doing well Richard thank you very much there are Iranian mil militias that no Aziz I will remind you elder God thank you hindsight's everything exactly right would and that's why I say you might want to sell half your position right keep a little bit of reserves Woodrith Chicho hey Chicho long time listener six seven years nice on board ever since the pomegranate videos <laughs> thank you for all you do my pleasure um, I also teach science and math in terms of investments do you think putting money into a into a Roth IRA and or an ETF fund is wise choice I'm thinking you're not you're not because that is money going back to Wall Street also would you recommend an educator such as myself make videos podcasts about science and math okay your second question 100% Woodrith get your presence online I'm not kidding you this is something I've been telling people for a gazillion years like since I started being online I've had friends that have been teachers I said look you need to be online you need to create content Hannah thank you very much for the bit you need to create content you need to have a presence online really and this was in the early days of YouTube when I was like just making my first videos I was like look this is the direction I'm going I recommend you guys go in this direction as well right it's a lot of work there's no money in it at the time you you couldn't make money off YouTube not that you can really right now but that's not the point the point is to create content have a library at your disposal that you can when you're ready put it all together create modules which is what I'm going to do to teach certain levels of mathematics or science right be online do podcasts interact with people one of the reasons is you're no longer under centralized control so you can teach whatever you want to teach on your own terms and if you're a teacher that has a love for it you'll know what to do okay so for sure I recommend building the tools that you need to build to be online and build a present and don't don't be discouraged if you don't get a flux influx of people coming in to listen to you to watch you to read you to praise you and all that jazz don't worry about it some of the worst comments I've had on my math videos were some of the first videos and one of the ones the the math video I've made that's got the most number of downvotes by people is a short little video I made during the first set of videos I made talking about zero and infinity I had a lot of mathematicians come in there saying this is wrong 
Now, these people are looking at it from the perspective of a PhD level mathematics or someone who's studying PhD or master's level mathematics. They didn't realize I'm trying to educate high school kids to learn, to have a grasp of what zero and infinity are, right? They didn't get that concept, so they downvote the video. And I got into discussion with them, I'm like, dude, you, you guys don't get it, right? Everybody is not Tesla, right? You need to bring people up slowly. Fire bad, fire burn is enough for a four-year-old to appreciate that don't put your finger in the fire. You don't have to go into the specifics of what combustion is, right? Fire bad is sufficient for a two-year-old, okay? Or should be until they burn their finger and they go, oh, fire bad. They associate the bad with fire, right? So do what what you can to the best of your abilities. It doesn't have to be perfect. You will make mistakes. I make mistakes. I still make mistakes, right? But if you make mistakes, if you find out about them, you try to correct them and make a little note, right? Learn from them and do better. As for your second, your first question, which is into a Roth IRA or ETF and stuff like this. Sure, I, I don't want to put my energy and money into F Wall Street right now, okay? Because if you're putting it to Wall Street, unless you're going to be putting in for 30 years and hoping it's going to continue the same trend, which I don't think it will, okay, then that's what you do, right? Walk away, put it in, walk away. Do your research pre before you put your money in, right? Look into what's coming into the future and stuff and revisit it every year, right? However, if you're going to be moving from one ETF fund, one stock to another, you need to keep a close eye on this and see the progression happen, right? So aside from the moral aspect of it, the ethical aspect of Wall Street, the ETFs, Wall Street right now is in a serious bubble. It could go up higher, right? In, uh, in general, right? There could be some stocks that are going to go sh very high, right? It could be good investment. However, there's a lot of stocks that are in a bubble position right now. There's a lot of changes taking place. So if you're going to go into an ETF or a Roth or whatever it is, uh, into funds, look into what they're investing in, what their main holdings are in the and the stocks that they have the certain ETF in and stuff in and decide for yourself with research if it's a good idea to park your money there for an extended period of time right for example is the is the real estate market um, a commercial real estate a good place to put money in are REITs a good place to park your money in right what type of REITs commercial real estate REITs, uh, residential, uh, private real estate REITs, uh, retirement REITs, are they a good place to invest your, your money in? Some of the things you have to consider. So yes, it could be a good place, especially since you're getting paycheck from the government and you need to be able to reduce your taxes by putting your money into uh, retirement savings because it brings you to a lower tax bracket so you pay less taxes that way you get a certain tax rebate and stuff like this and your company might be matching the retirement benefits 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 but make sure you're selective of where you're gonna park your money okay if I was teaching in a centralized education system and getting a paycheck every two weeks where they did all that stuff I would probably do the same thing but I would try to make sure that as a it's an ETF REIT whatever it is that is controlled by me not by their funds how do you invest in crypto you trade crypto investing if, you, if you're talking about long-term investment Hannah you would just buy it and sit on it because there's only two choices with crypto really buy it sit on it hope it goes up or start trading it and as far as I'm concerned the crypto market is a trading market that being said Bitcoin is setting up a nice base around 9,000 right that's a nice solid base if it cracks 9,000 might go further down right but it's setting a nice base so it might be making uh, getting ready to do another move up maybe maybe another move down what key rules numbers that you look at when you time your cryptos I, I'm not trading cryptos Hannah so I'm just watching it in terms of just keeping track of it that's it if I was going to start trading it, I would look at it a couple of levels deeper than I am right now 
uh, Nemo, Chicho, I know teachers who make a good chunk of their income selling their lesson plans as a supplement to their teaching salary, for sure. And there's a website called Teachers Pay Teachers, right? And there is, and on this website, there's a lot of teachers selling lesson plans to other teachers. Legitimate form of business. Okay. Cool. I'm all the way down to the bottom. Nice, nice, nice. Cheryl Woodruth, there are a lot of amazing but simple science tech streamers on Twitch and YouTube. My son and I watch them together, and the variety of presentations and personal touch is so helpful in reinforcing concepts. Yeah, I'm 100% with Cheryl on this, right? Chicho, thank you. I really appreciate your kind words, advice, and inspiration. Peace and love, brother. Peace, brother. I'm on the bottom. Woohoo! Wow. I skipped a lot of stuff gang by the way so my apologies for that what are your thoughts on decentralized finance utilizing smart contract I like it it really depends on the contracts right depend depends who's financing and who's backing it uh, I'm all for it I'm all for using blockchain to create smart contracts to bypass the regulators to bypass the central power to bypass central banking 100% and is a legitimate thing to do okay magic mag, magicum magicum nemo chicho i didn't know that that uh but that sounds a lot better than the corporations they were selling their lesson plans to what i uh to when i talk to them uh, i will have to uh let them know is this for uh the teaching business plans was mostly mostly two-way chat above awesome okay thanks elder god that's good <sighs> strawberries this is the last batch of strawberries oh will it focus 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 there it is look at that goodness look at that amazing goodness right <laughs> it's strawberry season gang i hope you're eating your strawberries very nice i go between the bookcase in here and i'm gonna do a couple of unannounced live streams in the next few days in the patio the sun is finally shining nice and warm Nemo, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. The bookcase I do a lot, and I like the bookcase a lot. These strawberries are fantastic. What else is going on, gang? What else is going on? Elder God sees a pattern. Hannah, thoughts on real estate investment. Is it possible to approach a private company, invest in three to five thousand dollars, and see what type of return you can get in a company that is flipping houses? Thoughts on this type of investment? Does this type of investment exist? It does exist, Hannah. You just have to find the right company on Wall Street. Uh, I don't know if there is uh, private companies that would do this. If you're going to go private on this uh you have to look into your locality find out their history you have to trust the people and i doubt very much if they're going to take your three to five thousand dollars unless it's pooled together in with other people that makes it substantial to buy something right um and i three to five thousand dollars for a real estate investment company is chump change right unless you're buying stocks in a company that does this on wall street okay absurdicon uh chicho i got some fresh strawberry pie early in mid-may my grandma grows them nice sadly in the midwest it got really cold in may and she lost most of the oh no oh no that's like here it, it like really it, 
yesterday was a nice summery day today is turning out to be a nice summery day it's i think in the last two months today is like the fourth or fifth day that we're gonna break 20 degrees celsius it's been below 20 usually low teens for the last like month too bad about the strawberries sleepy waves how are you doing chicho i just had to pay my taxes and paid so much for twenty thousand dollars. yeah ridiculous i hate the us for making tax system such a pain in the ass for freelancers sleepy waves canada is the same it's horrendous right however sleepy waves if you're a freelancer you should have a secondary company on the side and i don't know what it's called in the us in canada it's called a sole proprietorship where you can write off your salary uh, your salary against starting the business so it kicks you down into a lower tax bracket okay that's what's available to people you really if you're if if you're a freelancer you need to start thinking about that right uh, simple thing you can do buy comic books sell comic books that's a business don't by the way i'll say it again this is not financial advice i don't know the legal implications you lose money you lose money this is some some people do right buy comic books buy collectibles sell collectibles that's a business you're trying to generate revenue but what you can do is build up inventory right and your inventory you can write off against your salary and kicks you down to a lower tax bracket and take the returns and buy more inventory and sell you have an assembly line going that's what large corporations do that's why amazon barely doesn't pay taxes that's why a lot of these corporations don't pay taxes they have accountants that do these for them right that's funny but actually i'm a long time listener but first time chatter with riff thank you very much by the way for coming here on the live stream do you feel that a digital universal currency could replace national currency systems if global economies become uh dilapidated enough uh Me meta dragon uh that's the problem there's some centralized institutions that are pushing towards digitizing their currencies if cash in circulation is removed from a society that society is enslaved you need to have anonymous means of conducting business in large part or buying whatever you need to buy to do consumption consumption once consumption becomes the finance aspect of it the money aspect of it becomes completely digitized you are no longer a free human being everything you do everything you buy everything is there's a track record of it that database will know more about you than you know about yourself and as we know large databases even if you trust the centralized institution that is managing your database you'd be insane to trust them right that they're not going to use it against you when the time is needed right but let's assume you trust that central institution because they are jesus right we know large databases get hacked now just imagine if some bad parties are able to find out more about you than you know about yourself wow we need to do all we can to make sure that our countries do not become 100 percent digital currency if they do that is basically it's not even one step away from totalitarianism it is totalitarianism that society is going to disintegrate speedy gonzalez style okay magicum what advice would chicho give the 21 year old chicho if you could go back in time someone asked me this before i would say drink less <laughs> that's the quickest one that came to my mind at the time 21 years old 
buy those Microsoft stocks, right? But I'm glad I didn't. Elder God, I have hit 60,000 K Chicho. Nice, Elder God. Awesome. Happy times, happy times. Sleepy ways. What do you mean against your salary? I'm an independent freelancer. The only income is from my freelance work. I against your freelance work. You're, uh, sorry, I used the wrong word, but against your money coming in. I don't have a salary. Against your money coming in, right? So you're running a business, right? Have a secondary business. And take some of the funds there and invest it in here. Or you're independent freelancer, right? Are you a company? You must be a company. It doesn't, you don't have to be incorporated, but someone's paying you, right? But do you have a, uh, what do you call it? A, a bank account as a company or is it just you? Because if you're a company, then you must be paying yourself salary, no? If that's what you're doing. Like, I have a family member, and I know people that run, uh, what do you call it, gardening, um, landscaping business, right? But the landscaping business is not them. It's a company, right? And they pay themselves a salary, right? So i'm not sure how you're running it. it you have to figure out how your tax system works sleepy waves right like that's what it is with a sole prop is against your earnings rather than true salary yeah right it's it, it's it, it's just words right just make sure you're using the right words i don't use the right words in general you know me i, I even for, forgot scott summers Cyclops's name. I mean, geez, Louise. Drink less water. Drink less alcohol. China is very close to digitalizing the uh, yuan. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I would not live in China. <laughs> no way. Right? Catholic tradition. Chicho, my advice to my 21 year old self be humble. You do, you do not know half of what you think you know catholic traditionist is 100 percent correct as a 21 year old i had my head up my ass i thought i i believed in absolutes right that's what youth is that's how governments when they want to wage war against other nations recruit they get them all riled up right 17 18 19 20 21 year old 22 youth to go wage war for them because youth are idealists they believe in absolutes absolutely we are right absolutely this is wrong absolutely this is right right as a 21 year old the advice would be be humble that's a great advice from catholic traditionalists and there are other people here that are uh maybe not as old as i but uh, older than 21, what would their advice be? Elder God, what would your advice be to be to a 21 year old? I was approaching Catholic, I was approaching what I would call peak Dumba, <laughs> peak Dumba at 21 years old. Elder God. I would be the opposite 21 year old me be less humble go get the gold <laughs> i would say be respectful youth have a tendency not to be respectful to 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 their elders in general some in some places they are right listen more as a 21 year old listen more take certain advice given to you by your elders to heart okay meta dragon i felt that utilizing trading and homesteading practices would certainly retain a sense of autonomous community in many countries whose governments are beginning to convince themselves that authoritarianism is a responsible option for humanity i mean if if a majority of a population the size that they would like to build a simple community that cent centralizes homesteading would the masses follow and build their own communities or would the government bodies intervene 
uh, education is so crucial right now in agreed education is crazy crucial and that's one of the reasons I went into the education business in the early 2000s right in late 1990s 2000s and started have showing my presence online in mid 2000s because I saw it going in this direction so education is huge because I saw that centralized power was uh, co-opting the minds of society they've been doing it for a long time but it really became prevalent in the early 2000 in the 2000s really it just took over and you saw the changes happening so rapidly right so i knew there was going to be a need for this right aside from that we've had throughout history examples of governments going into certain places that they're trying to build a community and totally destroying them right because they deem them a threat to the centralized power so we have to defang centralized power for us to be able to build communities where we can all thrive so that means not just defunding the police reducing the amount of money in policing but defunding governments right some people's solution to totalitarianism is to give more money corporate totalitarianism is to give more money to centralized power centralized government but they don't appreciate that centralized governments are run by centralized corporations right multinational corporations so they're actually doing the opposite of what they really want to do we have to take power away from centralized capital simple as that Dwayne, with your voice you could be a voice actor <laughs> thanks I don't think I'll do any business for Hollywood that's another place I will ref I refuse to uh, participate in in a system in a major way right I do consume some of their products DPB is your friend right I've decided to return uh, return back to the 1990s the future isn't what it used to be <laughs> and by the way gang if you weren't about if you weren't around the 1990s the freedom and this is the reason why the 1990s were insanely amazing like iron curtain had fell down the ussr was no longer what it was in certain parts of the world where i was in canada united states and uh uk i'm pretty sure huge parts of europe the eastern Bloc had collapsed ussr was no more so all of a sudden the threat of nuclear war the bipolar nature of the world was gone and there was a whole sense of unity there was a sense of it right it didn't really exist clinton destroyed yugoslavia bombed the crap out of them and stuff like this right however in the general population there was a sense that there was a something happening in the world which was positive so people were partying like mad there was a sense of bliss and then we had the 2000s i could see chicho as a voice actor in video games for sure i'll do video games dang i missed the 90s yeah hollywood fish 90s were amazing 90s were amazing amazing as are as were the 2000s in a different way right you have to adjust the 2000s amazing if you're online right the 90s were amazing if you're online there was no doubt about that right you could see the build up build up build up but the 2000s we saw the internet really come into its being right it was wild west you could get anything you wanted to you could talk to anyone you wanted to you could say whatever you wanted to without these fanatics going crazy oh you're not politically correct oh you're not socially aware you're cultural report creation you're this you're this you're this it's like man get a life right in the 2000s any of these dinglings that came online and started freaking out because they were offended by your statements they could have kissed your ass right now you see people scared to say happy <laughs> like, it's crazy right and right now is a different period right right now we're seeing different things take place so we have to adjust so right now we're seeing amazing things occurring in their own right but some are more uh, 
more on the side of caution right on the darker side article arzak to to the topic of education how intense do you make notes when reading a book sometimes huge i highlight books if i'm really into a book i mark up a book like mad sometimes i've taken notes on the side uh, in a booklet of my notebooks how do you find a golden mid between reading a book fast but not uh, forget uh, what it says weeks later can you even read uh, 0.5 to 1 books per week uh, that efficiently sorry for being off the you're not off topic k2 uh, i'm just going to come and reference you k2 first of all i don't read fast uh, i'm a slow reader in general which i used to think was a uh, uh was uh was a problem now i'm realizing that's more of a benefit because i'm very selective of what i read and i'm willing to start a book read a book and if i'm not really into it i put it aside i don't necessarily need to finish that book right so uh i tend to take my time reading right and that's one thing I would recommend people right if you're consuming information consuming content make sure that you're putting enough time on the side to be able to process that information right so for people that I've seen that are uh, speed readers that are reading like two three books a week I find that the information what they're reading to a certain degree becomes noise it's the same thing as people that consume too much content short content or long content online right if you're consuming too much information without giving yourself time to process that information then it just becomes noise you confuse things you mix things up so my recommendation is slow down right that's what we really need to do in our lives by the way we need to make sure we're slowing down our societies which it goes against what wall street wants to do which is speed up our lives right because they need those profits coming in <laughs> hollywood fish party my ass over the 90s me too sleepy ways do you think that this idea of global superpowers is western ideology no i think china's becoming a glo it is a global superpower it's not uh reserved to western uh ideologies across the globe right plenty of fish shows in the 90s oh fish you went to a lot of fish nice i i've seen string cheese incident five times and string ink cheese and cinnamon is like a younger brother uh to fish right so string cheese and cinnamon has sort of same vibe as fish i've never seen a fish show by the way but love string cheese and cinnamon some phenomenal shows there absurdicon have you read flex Men mentally by grant morrison uh um what do you call it from uh, doom patrol that came up no but i have the mini series wild read i read it a couple of weeks ago for the second time right before bed and i had some trippy dreams after really i have it i bought it recently flex mandelo is mental mentally is it flex mentally or flex mandelo the mandelo mentello yeah mentello oh you corrected at the bottom yeah flex mentello i bought the the what do you call it the mini series uh in the last year two years but i haven't read it yet crafter i'm a fast reader i want to read slower but it's very difficult you know what you could do uh crafter start reading technical books science books math books that'll slow you down because it kicks it into formulas where you have to actually pause and read what the variable means that's one reason I think I'm a slow reader because I read a lot of math textbooks science books when I was during my education so in general I had to pause to figure out what the equations meant what the graphs represented so I savored the words gravy boy how are you doing 
hope life is good i'm a speed reader but it's it's more natural than forced nice string cheese incident yeah love string cheese incident string cheese is great seen them a bunch of times great music great musicians phenomenal musicians are they still around by the way i don't think they've been around here k2 is there even too much slowing down when reading a book i read about one one guy that re recited every paragraph he read uh you do know the book in and out then but it is worth but is it worth the time here's the kicker from what i understand there are some speed readers right if you're speed reading it doesn't mean you're retaining the information you're just photocopying the information into memory so if someone says okay what's on page 29 paragraph 3 you can say what it is but you haven't been able to take that information and build a large picture as as to what was really the main theme main thesis of the whole reading right of the whole book so from that's what i understand anyway absurdicon chicho flex mandela takes a couple of reads to start understanding it but unfortunately it's very short definitely give it a read when you can okay it, it's on my reading list but man so much on my reading list yeah, I've heard amazing things about it, and that's General uh, Grant Morrison as well. It takes a couple of readings to appreciate it, right? Hollywood, yep, yeah, they still rock. Played a lot in Colorado, really awesome, awesome, awesome. First time I saw them, first time I saw them, I can't remember the first time I saw them. I saw them in Portland playing New Year's Eve. I've saw, I've seen them in Vancouver. I've seen them in uh, in. Uh, uh, Whistler I've seen him at the gorge in Washington uh, I believe I believe meta dragon all this talk about reading has me motivated to go get my homework done nice thank you for the advice Chicho it was delight to be a part a part of this discussion and I'll be back soon be be well brother you too meta dragon enjoy the homework enjoy the homework Catholic traditions. I followed fish around the 90s as well. There was hardly a pond, lake, river, or stream that I missed. Nice, nice. Cheryl, Chicho, regarding string cheese, I think they play less and probably mostly festivals. Okay. I don't think they've come up here uh, to BC for a while. It hasn't hit my radar anyway. I loved some of the amazing musicians, by the way. If you guys uh, i learned how to hula hoop at a string cheese incident concert on new year's eve in in uh, portland oregon uh, yeah i think it was port uh portland i learned how to hula hoop we're walking around in the stadium they're playing in the stadium and i'd never learned how to hula hoop. i don't know i could i just couldn't do it and i stood there and i watched some people hula hooping i just sat there and hula hoop hula hoop watched them for a few minutes and all of a sudden i'm like ah oh, i get it entheogens helped i get it and i went and picked up a hula and i started hula -hooping. and it, it, the first time it didn't work and then the second time it just doop, 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 doop. <laughs> hula hooping is fun elder god that's how i see words i think i will wait for the movie from now on I've seen string cheese at the gorge too fun times fish at the gorge is always epic oh i miss fish at the gorge i wish i seen fish i wish i've gone to the gorge more often i saw uh, i've seen ben harper at the gorge i saw roger waters at the gorge super fun super fun gorgeous you know what as far as outdoor venues goes it's the best sounding outdoor venue i've been to really and Stanley Park in Vancouver is a really good sounding as well. But the gore, the sound is phenomenal, gang. Phenomenal. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. We're almost into two hours, gang. We're almost into two hours. Should we call the stream? Should we call the stream? Chicho, you saw Rogers Waters Alive? How was it? Amazing. Absurdicon. 
amazing right picture this at the gorge and he was the obviously the final act right i've always wanted to see one of pink floyd's like if you get a chance to see roger waters he is one of the greatest live performers ever right picture this at the gorge amphitheater and there's a river coming down to the stadium when you have seen the stadium and it takes a turn right and all these bands have played before and it's phenomenal it's awesome and stuff like this you're loving it right and roger water comes on and you hear the beginning i forget which song it is that has the it's got a jet engine going right now the beginning of that starts playing right and you're like oh you know every, oh, of course you know this if you listen to pink floyd right everyone's excited hey, cheering 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 and all of a sudden the back of the stadium you see a dot coming towards you like literally you're sitting outside right stadium here river coming down you're high up and you see a dot coming coming getting bigger getting bigger and the music's still going down all of a sudden you realize what's happening it's a jet it's this private jet i guess or the, whatever they rented comes across and whoo, goes over the stadium and the jet sound is just like whoo, and then he kicks in into the music right Boom. blown away phenomenal go see roger waters do you recommend students uh to work during college university if you if you have the means if you have the ability sure if it's not taking away from your schoolwork right benefits being earning money and of course and of course and also time management but you're aren't you better off studying your topic or reading books especially when studying math here's the thing rk this is what i what i recommend people do in college and university co-op program basically a co-op program is programs you can sign up in college or university i'm assuming colleges have it as well where the deal is this you go to school and the school has at the end of the semester at the end of two semesters they have a little thing that they do where they have a classified advertisements that they either in my time they print it on paper and you read through the classifieds where companies come to the college and hire people to work they they specifically hire students one of the reasons is they're getting fresh blood right they're getting students that they can tell them to do anything and the student will do them as well they get government funding for that right so they pay the minimum wage and the government matches that and stuff like this so they save money if you can get into a co-op program where you're studying and then going to work for four months and then you come back and study and then you work for four months do that that is the best education you can have right i don't recommend going to school for four eight months and working at a pizza parlor right if it's not related to you starting a business right or want to be a pe owning a pizza uh, parlor right so and you end up in general finding work in your field or related field and that's what i did and that's how i got into doing geophysics okay so i highly recommend co-op programs because you get your work experience at the same time reminder raining gram stick around yeah gang we're going to be raiding gram raid gram nice nice also bless you for your insight much my pleasure k2 catholic tradition ba, 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 ba. that sounds mind-blowing awesome it was awesome absurdicon Catholic tradition of Chicho, I, I did internship and co-ops while studying university. I second your suggestion. Great advice. Great advice. The only reason I'm here today, the only reason I had the 10 years of geophysics work, the only reason I started up a lot of companies that I started up is because I went through a co-op program. And if you're going through a co-op program, get work with small companies instead of large companies. Because with small companies, you end up doing things that are not specifically based on your work uh, uh your desired field right so when you're working a small company let's say there's 10 people in the company or five people in the company 
if they need to do some data entry work you do the data entry work you're the lowest lowest in the totem pole right or I shouldn't say that because in totem poles the lowest usually holds up everyone else right that's the foundation of it but the lower you're, you're a pawn right so you do whatever the bosses tell you to do whatever the managers tell you to do don't take that as a negative take that as a means to acquire more skills right so working in a small company is better as a co-op as internship than it is a large company because you get to do more there's more weight on you there's more pressure on you you're hold you're held accountable for your work in a large corporation you can get lost and your work ethic doesn't build up as much okay that from my experience unless you want to work your way up the ladder in Wall Street then you're cutthroat do whatever you want to do employment pledges employment pledges Kathy in fact uh, so Catholic children Chicho in fact I did a tech startup with a couple of the engineers with whom I worked at one of my internships awesome and for me the company I got a job in doing 10 years of geophysics work the only reason I got that is because the person I work with doing a co-op term when I did geophysics saw me and hired me on the spot because he knew what I was capable of he'd worked with me for four months he went damn Chicho was a good worker when he and he started up the geophysics department in this multinational corporation multinational engineering corporation and he hired me on as his first person to come and work with him right so you build connections do it co-op program wait is that the right word employment pledges sure employ employers uh, go into the university and say uh, what do you call it they they say that they need to hire one person or two people or three people hello toes how are you doing I hope you've been enjoying the stream and welcome back to our live streams right Elagar back to work for me it's cheap money and I have a lot of thirsty people in here awesome elder God gang we're gonna go raid Graham thank you for being here thank you for participating Randy I'm not sure if you're still around thank you for the raid any of Randy's gang group that came here from the raid I hope you're still around and I hope you enjoyed the live stream I hope you enjoyed the discussion if you want to find out who who we are what I'm doing what I'm sharing patreon is where you want to be at patreon.com backslash chicho c h y c h o you can support this work through patreon you can follow this work through patreon i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative Commons. share and share alike we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c h o c c h y c h o l i v e if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat which is where you want to be at and thank you for the follows and subs gang if you're here live and following and subbing very much appreciated and moz thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk lo and parlor is part of us decentralizing our work making sure that when the sensors kick in we do not get deplatformed, right? We still have a means of sharing information, right? We will be uploading the audio for this discussion on soundcloud.com backslash chicho, C H Y C H O. And if you're listening to this as a podcast in audio format, I hope you enjoyed this discussion, okay? And we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And you can follow the work on BitChute and YouTube. And if you do have YouTube, um, if you're on YouTube, one way you can support this project is through YouTube membership. We just recently kicked that in at the beginning of this year. And you can definitely like, share, subscribe through BitChute and YouTube as well. Gang, thank you very much for being here. We're going to raid Graham. Okay. And and we're going to see what Graham is up to okay I'm gonna click it in oops I gotta do backslash first Doop. raid Graham okay Chicho use raid Graham warden okay 
and we're gonna go there in four three two one and we're there again thank you for being here i'll see you guys on the next live stream Ha <laughs> ha.